Get in a comfortable position, close your eyes. And then be sensitive to your breath. Know the breath when it's coming in, know the breath when it's going out. And one of the things you'll find is that the mind tends to wander away, even when you tell it to stay. When you think about that, that's kind of scary. This is that day of the year when they try to get you scared of ghosts and goblins and witches, things that go bump in the night. But the really scary things are the things that go bump in your own mind. Greed, aversion, and delusion can come in and take over. You make up your mind you're going to do something good, and all of a sudden you find yourself doing something else. And it's your own mind. That's scary. Because if you can't depend on your own mind, who can you depend on? Because there's nobody else who can make you skillful. You have to develop the skills yourself. So this is why we meditate, to protect the mind by making it more mindful. Once you make up your mind that you're going to do something good, then you keep that thought in mind. And then you're alert to what you're doing right now. The mind stays with the breath and try to be really sensitive to the breath. And the breath comes in, the breath goes out, you know it's coming in, you know it's going out. Whether it's comfortable or not, you know. And if it's not comfortable, you can change. Nobody's forcing you to breathe in an uncomfortable way. And then keep watch over the mind, because it will want to slip out. It's used to traveling around. But right now you say no, you put up a fence. This is your territory. You're going to stay inside the territory. As long as you're here, you're safe. They tell the story in the canon of a quail who wanders away from his safe territory. A hawk catches him, carries him off, and the quail begins to lament. Oh, if I only hadn't strayed from my ancestral territory, this hawk would have been no match for me. Of course, that piques the hawk's anger a little bit, this little tiny quail. What does it think it is? So he lets the quail go. He says, go ahead, go back to your ancestral territory, but even then you'll be no match for me. So the quail goes down to a field that is newly plowed with lots of stones, stands on top of one of the stones and starts taunting the hawk, come get me, you hawk, come get me, you hawk. The hawk swoops down just as it's almost ready to catch the quail. The quail hides behind the stone. The hawk can't break in time and it runs into the stone and dies. Okay, the hawk here stands for all the unskillful thoughts going through the mind, all the unskillful urges going through the mind. You've got a good, safe place. You're safe from them. Your mindfulness and your alertness can protect you from them. That's your safety. As for things outside, remember whatever spirits there are in the world, okay, they're suffering. You have to have compassion for them. If you have compassion for them, they're not nearly as scary as they'd like to make out to be. What you've got to worry about is your own mind. Have some compassion for your own mind. Have compassion for your own happiness. Because happiness comes from where? It comes from your own actions. Your actions come from your mind. And if your mind is out of control, who knows what's going to happen? But if you can gain some control over your mind, then you're safe. And once you've taken care of this, you've taken care of the biggest danger in the world. As long as you know that there's nothing that can make you do anything unskillful, then you're totally safe. So look after your thoughts, your words, and deeds, focusing primarily on your mind, because that's the source of your thoughts and words and deeds. Take care of the source and everything else will get taken care of as well. And you can go around in the daytime, you can go around in the nighttime, and you'll be safe.